After the president finished his speech, we talked with lawmakers in Washington who represent our area. Fox 11's Ben Krumholtz brings us multiple views. At the same time, we've After listening to President Barack Obama, Republican Congressman Reed Ribble said the president gave his typical State of the Union speech. But the last, you know, 15 minutes of his speech was, was more inspirational and aspirational. Um, I'm hoping that he really means these things. And if he does, uh, he'll find a Congress that he can work with. Rebels Republican Peer Glenn Grothman attended his first State of the Union speech as the 6th Congressional District's representative. I was glad he recognized that there's still work to, to be done. I wish he had given us more examples of places where we could reduce spending rather than just make promises of more spending. As for Wisconsin's two senators, Democrat Tammy Baldwin and Republican Ron Johnson were split on Obama's speech. In a statement, Baldwin wrote, while we have made a lot of progress coming back, in large part due to the president's policies, going forward, both parties in Congress need to work on continued progress instead of partisan politics. In a video provided by his office, Johnson questioned the president's leadership. After the pomp and circumstance of this evening, most of his proposals will quickly fade away as the nation turns its attention to the serious problems facing America and looks for responsible leadership elsewhere. All of the lawmakers agree the true test will be after Tuesday's speech, when lawmakers' actions show whether they're willing to work together. Ben Crumholz, Fox 11 News.